hard to justify myself at this point. <laughs> Here we are with another very large stack of boxes. If you have been following my channel, you may now know that I have moved and I have a brand new studio that is 200 times larger than any studio I've had previously, so I needed to order some things for the studio. And then they were having a Boxing Day sale at a Canadian tax store that sells briars. So here we are. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. This is genuinely as tall as me when I stand up. Oh my god! <gasps> wow. <laughs> so this is semi unrelated to models. This is a monitor stand and it's not even for me. <laughs> and this is a monitor stand for me. <laughs> I mean, it's semi related to model horses because I use my computer to edit these videos to give you model horse tutorials. So now I have a better computer set up to better edit quickly and efficiently for your once a week Wednesday upload. <laughs> On to the next! Woo! Ooh, this is fun. This is so fun. There's so much, there's so much good stuff in here. Oh, this is the cool thing that I got. So, I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try this and I'll make a video on it if it does work. But basically, it is a smoke trap. So I'm trying to make a safe atmosphere to be able to Dremel in my house. So I've seen this, I don't know, I googled it briefly, and it was basically saying that you can smoke cigarettes into it. Normally it's used for soldering, but I'm thinking it'll have the same effect for models because there's a lot of Dremel smoke that happens, and this should help clear the air a little bit, at least. And then I also got this which is a HEPA air purifier. So same kind of thing, uh, airbrushing and dremeling indoors kind of makes it a bad environment. So I got this guy. I got more charcoal filters for that smoke thing. And then I bought another respirator. So I got new uh, particulate filters and I got uh, new painting filters as well as a second respirator. So. I can have these on one respirator and these guys on another respirator and then I can just grab whichever respirator I need to grab and I think that will work a lot better. Um, but these things do expire, they get full of stuff, especially these painting ones. So you need to replace them every once in a while. I got the kind that you can actually replace the parts for. So I won't need to replace the whole thing anymore but like the parts inside so that'll be a lot more efficient. And I also got a string of fairy lights not related to model horses either, but these are going to be for our bedroom. These are the same lights that I used in my other room for my model horse collection and it works super great because you can plug it into the wall so it's always just going and then it has a remote so you can turn them on and off from bed. So the moment you've all been waiting for. Ah! Oh my god, I've never had this many. I've never had so many. It's crazy. So this is from Apple Saddlery and this is a Canadian, a good Canadian dealer. They had a really good Boxing Day sale on these models and because I live in Canada it was like free shipping and I plan on actually customizing like all of these so. But I got the donkey. I got Hickory's. What is his name? Hickory Hills Wall Street. I love Brady so much. I want a custom one. My mom's obsessed with the mold as well. So I really want to customize one and I don't know if I want to like drastic custom him or just repaint him. Then I got Fantasia Del C and Gozosa. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. This is the Iberian Mare in full. This set. I never really liked as an OF set, but the mare is really sculpturally quite nice. So I thought I would pick one up and I have plans on actually making the mare and the foal to lay down. LV Integrity, which is this Everol Trotting Arabian. I'm not sure what I want to do with her. I, oh, it's actually, it's a gelding. I'm not sure what I want to do with him yet. I'm thinking of just turning him into like a standing Arab. And then I bought a Domiente XXIX. Ooh. This mold I really, really like for some reason. I don't really know why. And I wanted to do one where I customize the face a little bit and customize the makeup. 
I really gravitate towards just standing briars for some reason. Then I got the leg row. I adore this mold. This is such a nice mold. I think I just want to do like a basic paint on him. Maybe I'll repose him a little bit, but he already has a lot of detail to him. And I, I just really love the mold. So I really wanted to do a custom of some kind on this mold. Then I got this guy, Best of British Shire. I don't actually have this model as an OF. This one's actually quite nice. I don't know, maybe he'll be saved from the chopping block. I have a, a photograph that I'd like to turn him, like customize him into. It's like a little, cute little draft, but there's a lot of good things happening in this sculpture as well. It's a really anatomically correct sculpture. So I don't know if I'll be able to customize him. No. Then I got, thanks, Vanilla. <laughs> uh, this one was really cheap and I, once again, I adore the mold. I actually already have like an OF that I've been repainting just as the mold stands. So I think I'd like to do one where I do modify the hair. And last but not least, I got Buckeye, the Appaloosa donkey or mule. And this guy will not be customized. Um, bought him as OF. Really, he's for my mom because she really likes mules and donkeys and Appaloosas and she's really excited when she's on the website as is. He's actually so cute. I wasn't sure about him like in the pictures, but not actually having him in person. He's really sweet. So that is the end of the box. Eight models total, and in the meantime, I'm gonna have some fun like pretending I have a briar star because I've never had this many inbox briars at one time in my life. Thank you so much for watching and happy collecting. Any of the Amazon things that you are interested in will be linked in the description below. And I will also link to Apple Saddlery if you are in Canada and looking to buy good affordable briars that come in a timely manner. All around good experience. So long from DJB.